the University of Georgia's carbon dating came back at 12,560 years. The sample? Resin, extracted from a metallic sphere that shouldn't exist. March 17, 2025. Colombian authorities document an object impact in Juan Velasco's agricultural field outside Buuga. The official report describes what three independent laboratories would later confirm a 30 centimeter aluminum sphere with no manufacturing signatures, no seams, no welding marks, no joints. The kind of seamless construction that our best aerospace facilities can't achieve. The numbers tell a story that physics can't explain. Day one, the sphere weighs 16 pounds. Day seven, 20 pounds. Day 14, 22 pounds. Three different scales, same result. Mass increasing without any material being added, without chemical reactions, without energy input. Just weight appearing from nowhere while scientists document every measurement. X-ray crystallography revealed an internal structure that made material scientists stop mid-sentence during presentations. Three concentric shells of 95% pure aluminum with the remaining 5% composed of isotopes that don't match terrestrial samples. Between these shells, nine microspheres suspended without any visible support system, maintaining perfect geometric spacing despite transport and examination. At the core, a component too small to extract without destroying the entire structure, composed of elements our spectrometers can't identify. But it's the surface engravings that triggered international attention. Symbols that don't correspond to any known writing system, ancient or modern. MIT's Linguistics Department, the Unicode Consortium, paleographers who've decoded Linear A, they all came to the same conclusion. These aren't human symbols. There's something else. MIT's Quantum Computing Laboratory changed everything on April 23, 2025. After conventional analysis failed, researchers input the sphere's surface patterns into a network linking IBM's Condor processor with Google's Sycamore Quantum Cloud. The decision was controversial. Quantum computing time costs thousands per hour. Three hours later, the investment paid off. The symbols weren't decorative, they were mathematical. The first decoded sequence matched Planck's constant to 15 decimal places, a precision beyond our current measurement capabilities. The second sequence encoded the golden ratio to similar precision. The fine structure constant, the gravitational constant, the speed of light, all embedded in the engravings with accuracy that exceeds our best laboratory measurements. Dr. Sarah Chen from Caltech's Theoretical Physics Department put it in perspective. Either someone has access to measurement tools orders of magnitude better than ours, or they're working from theoretical models we haven't developed yet. The second layer of symbols contained something that made the Discovery Team request immediate classification. Gravitational wave signatures. Specifically, the exact frequency patterns detected by LIGO when GW150914 occurred, the first confirmed observation of colliding black holes 1.3 billion light years away. The sphere's engravings contained a perfect frequency match for an event that happened before Earth had multicellular life. Layer 3 encoded orbital mechanics, the resonance patterns of Jupiter's Galilean moons, the Kirkwood gaps in the asteroid belt, and most unnervingly, the orbital characteristics of exoplanets discovered after 2020. Information about planets we've only recently detected carved into an object that carbon dating suggests is over 12 millennia old. Computer modeling at MIT's Materials Science Lab produced results that warranted immediate peer review. The sphere's three-shell configuration, when subjected to electromagnetic simulation, demonstrated properties that contradict conventional materials science. 
The aluminum layers create photonic effects typically requiring metamaterials engineered at nanoscale. Light doesn't simply reflect off the surface. It spirals through the shells in patterns that suggest computational processing. Dr. Michael Torres, who ran the simulations 12 times to verify the results, stated, the configuration acts like a photonic processor. It's performing calculations using light interference patterns. This isn't theoretical anymore. We're seeing it in the models. The nine microspheres suspended between shells aren't randomly positioned. They sit at mathematically precise intervals based on golden ratio spacing. When subjected to acoustic or electromagnetic frequencies in simulation, they create standing wave patterns that amplify specific harmonics. The entire structure functions as what researchers are calling a resonance memory system. It receives frequencies and maintains their patterns. Caltech's advanced simulation pushed further. When they modeled what would happen if the sphere was exposed to its own encoded frequencies, essentially playing back the gravitational wave signatures found in its engravings, the simulation showed something that violated accepted physics. The model predicted the generation of a localized space-time distortion. Microscopic, lasting microseconds, but measurable. Aluminum and microspheres creating gravitational effects isn't just unlikely. According to our understanding of physics, it's impossible. Harvard's astrophysics department brought a different perspective. Dr. Lisa Park overlaid the glyph patterns onto deep space star maps. Three sequences aligned perfectly with fast radio burst sources, the cosmos's loudest screams of unknown origin. But one pattern pointed somewhere else, a patch of nothing between Andromeda and Triangulum, where our telescopes see only darkness. The quantum AI insists something's there, waiting. We embedded our address in Voyager's golden record, music, mathematics, DNA, a cosmic business card drifting through the void. This sphere might be someone else's version, except instead of saying we were here, it says we understand everything. The ancient echoes make you pause. Egyptian texts describe eggs of the gods falling from heaven. Sumerian tablets mention divine spheres containing creation's knowledge. Mythological imagination, we always assumed. But mythology doesn't generate measurable space-time distortions. Then came the Tokyo Whispers. July 2025. An underground collector allegedly possesses a second sphere. Smaller at 8 inches, different symbols, same impossible construction. Leaked photos show shells that nest without touching, engravings that seem to shift when you're not looking directly at them. NASA won't confirm they're investigating. They also won't deny it. If two spheres exist, probability suggests more. Scattered across Earth like breadcrumbs, each one a piece of something larger. Dr. Chen spelled out what's at stake. The standard model has holes, dark matter, dark energy, quantum gravity. These fears might be the missing manual. The implications stagger. Energy grids that tap quantum vacuum fluctuations, making fossil fuels look like burning sticks for warmth. Propulsion that folds space instead of fighting through it. Medical scanners that detect disease in probability waves before symptoms manifest. The sphere already showed us universal constants more precise than our best equipment can measure. What else does it know that we don't? The weight anomaly alone rewrites physics. Mass appearing without matter, without energy conversion, without explanation. One theory suggests the sphere interfaces with zero-point energy fields, literally pulling weight from quantum foam. If true, we're not looking at a message or even technology. We're looking at a device that reaches into reality's basement 
and flips switches we didn't know existed. Jose Velasquez has examined meteorites for two decades. His assessment was blunt. I've never seen anything remotely like this, ever. Julia Mossbridge from UC San Diego wants Harvard's Galileo project involved immediately. Mexican scientists guard the sphere. NASA wants samples. Three universities are lobbying for access. Everyone's being careful because they know. Whoever cracks this changes. The farmer's daughter swears the sphere hummed when she sang near it. Frequency, 432 hertz. Musicians call that the cosmic frequency. Coincidence? The Sanskrit chant videos remain unverified, but simulations confirm certain frequencies would cascade through those nested shells, turning the sphere into a resonance amplifier that remembers every vibration it encounters. Strip away speculation, and we're left with facts that shouldn't exist. A seamless metal sphere that gains mass without cause. Vegetation desiccated in a perfect circle, not burned, not poisoned, just drained of life like something needed every molecule of water. Engravings that encode physics better than we understand it. Three shells creating electromagnetic effects that violate materials science. A chip at its core that might be silicon or might be something our periodic table doesn't include. Either someone on Earth engineered an impossible object with fake alien writing as history's most elaborate hoax, requiring physics we don't have, manufacturing techniques we can't replicate, and knowledge we haven't discovered. Or we're holding proof. Proof that somewhere, someone understands the universe's source code well enough to compress it into portable form and send it here. The quantum computers answered what? Universal constants, gravitational signatures, cosmic coordinates. They can't answer why. Why Earth? Why now? Why encode reality's blueprint in a sphere that gains weight while we watch? Maybe it's a probe, testing whether Earth has evolved intelligence capable of decoding it. Maybe we just passed. Maybe it's an invitation complete with return address written in pulsar coordinates. Or maybe it's something else entirely. A key, a warning, a gift from a civilization that learned to love physics so deeply they could sculpt it. What haunts researchers isn't what the sphere contains, it's what it implies. A civilization that can build this could build anything. Harness stars, fold space-time, encode consciousness. They know what we're still guessing at, and they sent us their homework. We stand at a threshold. Behind us, everything we thought we knew about physics, about our place in the cosmos, about what's possible. Ahead, answers that might redefine human civilization or reveal we're toddlers playing with blocks while adults watch from the dark space between galaxies. What do you think this really is? Because while scientists debate in careful language, the sphere sits in a Mexican lab, gaining weight, waiting for someone to find the right frequency to make it sing. Your theory might be the key. Thousands of minds processing this puzzle beat a handful of experts every time. The universe just handed us an examination, written in mathematics older than our solar system. We're either witnessing the most important discovery in human history, or the most elaborate mystery ever constructed. But here's what keeps researchers awake. If this is real, if this is contact, then whoever sent it knows we're here. They know we're ready enough to decode it. And somewhere between Andromeda and Triangulum, in that patch of darkness the symbols point to, something knows we've started translating. The question isn't whether we'll solve this puzzle. The question is whether we're prepared for what solving it means. 
because some doors, once opened, transform everyone who walks through them. And we just found the doorknob. Subscribe now, hit the bell, because when the second sphere surfaces and our sources insist it will, you'll want to be among the first to know. The cosmos just started a conversation. Time to decide if we're brave enough to answer back.